All right, guys, today on doing stuff with Dylan, we got a 2015 Chevy Spark. Uh, the tranny's going bad in it, so we're going to go ahead and get it replaced. Um, I'm going to show you how I took it out. Try this one clip up and remove it completely. And next, you got to pop the shifter off. Unplug the Prindle. All right, take your battery, hold down off. Bust these tins loose. You should always take your negative all the way off before you put a tool on the positive, but if you're careful, it doesn't matter. Before you take your tin off, take this off. But there's two of them. Get that out of your way. Switch over to your 12. There's a screw right here too. It's also a 12 though. You gotta pry these little hoses and wires off. out of your way and that's why we removed it so we can get to these three bolts here all right this is a 14 these bell bolts are 14s all right i got my six inch six inches extension on there and a short 14 wobble socket so we're pretty much done with the top we do need to undo our shifter cable. You just squeeze on, on those white things and pop it out of the bracket. And the bracket's going to have to come off eventually. So you might as well do it now. 12 millimeters. it up there because there's a wire attached to it but your top's pretty much done you make sure you have access to these bolts Four on this 
These are 15s. You want to unplug this O2 sensor. Tap that with a hammer. strap on this exhaust so it doesn't hang too far down. I don't want to break it, but it needs to be out of my way. Strap's holding it pretty much. I got my 15 on here. I'm going to go ahead and uh, buzz all these out. All right, guys, I'm going to work on my sway bar bolts. They're right here, and there's two on this side. They look like they're 13s. I'm going to use my air ratchet. two hands you can just snap this out of there and swap it over when you swap your parts. I'm going to try to get my rack bolts out. Alright, right there's your rack bolt and there's one on that side too. So you put the straps on there. All right, right there's your other rack bolt. All right. Let me make sure you got a strap on both sides. I never dropped a rack doing it this way. All right. Now we have to work on the ball joints. But these ball joints are 15s. Woo! Hot bolt. Careful, they might be hot. That one was for sure. Alright guys, you can see the problem I'm running into with my radiator in this bar here. So I'm just gonna since I'm round tripping this one which means I'm taking a tranny out and putting a new tranny in it instead of uh, rebuilding it I'm gonna try to just uh, hang the axles not fully remove them It'll make my job easier and this one I'm gonna grab from the spring like I did the rack
keep the joint from falling apart. And then I'm going to use my large pry bar. Pop them out. Get a bucket. Here's the setup I'm going to use for the top bolt. You can maybe get it from above as well, but just reaching over the top of the starter and taking this 13 loose. All right, I'm holding pressure off the bolt and then I'm using my left hand here. To turn it out. Hope you guys can see what's going on. All right, get my last top bolt out of the starter. Should be able to position that up out of my way. Try to set it on top of that coolant hose. The coolant hose will hold it up out of the way, hopefully. All right, both my bolts are out. Let's pop these lines off. I'm going to show you how I generally undo these. It's hard to show you. But you got to push down on these little top pieces. And it should pry around eventually. Just like so. Once it gets all the way off, it'll pop right off of there. And then you got to unplug this plug too. Pull that off. Alright, I'm going to start with my torque converter bolts now. Looks like an 18 will turn the crank. And if you line them up just right, you can get to it through the starter hole. means that's the one with the square sides so that's the last one you want to take out anyway because that's the first one you should put in and there's my setup Is unplugging the crank sensor. And... All right, guys, gotta support the motor. We can get the jack under here. We might as well support the transmission at the same time. And then we're gonna go up top and undo those three eighteens that are up there. And then pull the last two belt bolts, and the uh, train will come out. I'm going to take that bolt off, that nut off here. I'll probably put a bolt in there instead. And then take this last bolt out here. And the whole transmission will come out. What's your exhaust on this side of your jack so it's not fighting the tranny? Better to me. Uh, now 
we're gonna go up top and get those 18s off. Right, set those up there, and now we can go down below. We're gonna have to lower it until this clears. You guys, there's the bracket I'm about to take off. It's 14s using my half inch impact. All right, guys, I got that bracket off using this half inch and my 14. flywheel has a reluctor on it and if you're not careful you can uh, damage the reluctor so be careful I'm going to loosen this strap pull this axle in I that was fighting me a little bit keep your eye on it as you're coming down make sure it's not getting stuck if it gets stuck Take a long pry bar and just help it stay up. The converter was sticking, so I had to pry the converter in a little bit. Right now it's getting stuck on this one dowel in the front. right here guys that's where I just got it free from I should be able to tilt it now where it clears this reluctor and we'll come out all right guys I think I got it where it'll clear now a lot more room up there should be able to get this thing out of here man I just wiggled it till it came clear of the flywheel. It's kind of a pain. And you always want to have your fork and pry tool handy in case there's any wires anywhere you can address it. That one there. Coming on down. Right here's a crank sensor. Have to undo that and replace it or swap it over. All right, we got her out, guys. All right, guys, I got it out. This is where that top bracket bolted. There's where the top two bell bolts went in. This one I got with the wrench. This one I could actually put a socket on. There's where your line's hooked up. There's where the connector was. Got this connector in the back and this one way in the back. guys don't forget to swap all your little pieces over this cable bracket this guy and that guy and this crank sensor and I'm gonna put a bolt where this stud was we 
and got her all ready to go back in guys but i like listening to music and uh i gave you guys the rundown on taking it out putting it back in you're just gonna reverse the procedure so you're gonna just rewind this video and try to watch it backwards i don't know if that's possible but just go backwards i mean you should pay attention when you're taking something apart anyway so it should go back together pretty easy you can still use this video for reference hopefully this was helpful i'm gonna put some music on and get this spark done so all right guys got that chevy spark done it's pretty straightforward putting it back in stick a couple videos over here you can check out go ahead and hit that subscribe button i'd appreciate it that's the best way to freely support my channel i'd really appreciate it guys